So the cyclone season continues here in Mauritius. In fact, the weather's been pretty ghastly the last few days, very windy and wet. But seeing as it's not ideal to go outside, I thought let's cook a traditional Mauritian meal. <laughs> Right, so I'm here with Akashni. You'll probably remember her from the market piece that I did in Quatre Bon. That was quite some time ago, but it is fantastic to be back with you again. Yes. And Akashni is going to cook us a Mauritian dish made with very good quality local ingredients. Yeah, sure. Inexpensive ingredients as well, because that's yeah. the, the major point here. I think we only spent about 340 rupees for this dish, so that's not bad to feed a family, is it? Yeah, like normal family, we don't need to buy like expensive uh, food, expensive ingredients. Uh, as uh, things you, you get uh, in the market or in your garden. As an accompaniment to this wonderful fish curry, we're also using some fresh local vegetables, namely shushu and kalbas, as well as fresh herbs and snook. First up, let's prep that fish. So if you didn't rinse that, then it would it would just be too salty, would it? Yeah, it would be salty. Because you're going to add salt again in the, in the curry. And you cook it. It's really important to wash this fish very well and leave it for about 30 minutes soaking in the water. I always put a bit of uh, lemon juice in it so it takes out the smell. So that's shushu? Yes. It's quite popular here in Mauritius. We can put it in uh, chicken, uh, we can mix it even with a doll, and we take out all the skin only. Food prep, that's the bit that always takes the time, isn't it? Yes. yes. And now we could we cut it into pieces, not too small. Okay, and then you're gonna rinse it off. Yeah. Always rinse the food before cooking or before eating. Now it's time to get that hob on and add a nice big glug of olive oil. Then one clove of garlic some thyme and the shushu are added to the pan. And then put on a low flame. How long would you cook that for? Uh, 15 minutes. Uh. Cook the shushu with the lid on and then let's move on to the rice. Take one spoon of a big uh, like a cup. Yeah. One cup. Wash it. You like washing, don't you, you catch me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. always washing. I just rinse it. Kashni is a washaholic, a yeah. water creek. So we've got the rice on, we've got the shushu on, on the boil, both of them. And now we're going to add the dal, which in my mind looks like lentils. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. With the dal, I'm going to put the, a, a small side of uh, kalbas. Kashni first cuts off the skin of the kalbas. And then uh, take out the seeds. Then she chops up the kalbas into nice chunky bits. And then moving on to the shushu, we add a little bit of water, in fact, one cup. On the balcony. We take out a little pressure cooker. To speed up the process of the kalbas cooking, we're going to use this pressure cooker. Rinse the kalbas under running water. Turn on the stove again. Add a nice glug of olive oil to the pressure cooker. And in goes the calabash. Got a foggy lens. Wow, that's a great effect actually. And just cover it a bit. Just maybe two to five minutes. I just cover it. Chop up a couple of sprigs of thyme. So in most of our, our food, we always put the ginger, garlic, tomato, and even chili. Oof, the smell of that is, is, is insane. Yeah, it's a beautiful smell. Yeah. How's that looking? That's looking good. And add a couple of teaspoons of this ginger garlic paste. Add one chopped up tomato and then give the dish a good stir just to get all those juices flowing. Check the rice and if you think it's cooked, it's time to wash and drain it. 
I always like to like put a bit of water in the pots and then like just uh, put on the rice like uh, Shushu dish is looking like it's cooking really nicely and now we're going to move on to the doll. Made in Maurice. Excellent because we want to support Mauritian products as best we can. Yes. Add one tin of doll into the pressure cooker and then give it a really good mix. To have a beautiful colour. Add one teaspoon of saffron and then a little bit of cumin. Just a bit. Try not to wipe you out with my uh, my fluffy dog, <laughs> my microphone. <laughs> Sorry, Kashni. <Cashney. laughs> Danger pay. <laughs> Looks and smells fantastic. Half cup of water. And then keep it stirring to really bring out all those wonderful flavors. So the shushu is good, it's done. Time to plate up the shushu. Look at that, that looks really, really good. Well, things are really heating up in the kitchen here. We've got um, the rice is done, yes. and we've the also shushu is done. Shushu's done, and it smells absolutely fantastic. I think you're doing a really good job. Thank you. So, what's next? So now we're going to make the salted fish. Back to the fish, which has now been soaking in that water for over 30 minutes. Rinse it a bit again with clean water. Two or three spoon of oil. Pat the fish in a paper towel to get rid of some of that excess moisture. And then on goes the fish. Fry the fish in that pan until it's just browned. Meanwhile, this pressure cooker seems to be doing its job really nicely. Oh, that was a good bit of a flame, wasn't it? I'll uh, add a bit of lemon juice in the salted fish. Now you can see. Oh, that's it's lovely. Soft. The colour, it's sort of silky, glossy. Yeah. Beautiful. Add a teaspoon of salt to the calabash. And look at that fish looking nice and brown now. Don't turn it like always, like every two minutes. Let it uh, take its time to cook. Now it's time to make the rugai for the poisson or for the fish. And that's basically one red onion chopped up and fried along with some thyme and some curry leaves, a little bit of ginger garlic paste, a tin of tomatoes. I let it cook a bit uh, for five or 10 minutes. Take out the small uh, bones. Uh, all nicely prepped and ready to go, so no bones and no skin. All the fish is in, a bit of water, a bit of salt, mix, mix, mix. So there we've got the shushu, lovely fluffy white basmati rice, the fish in a sort of salsa, and that would be the, the doll. So Kashni has prepared this incredible meal and I'm going to have a tiny little taste of it because it just I mean you got to taste it really and I wish you guys could taste this because this is absolutely fantastic and the flavors are quite different yeah well done Akashni a really amazing Mauritian meal Creole is the, is the local dialect here yeah Mauritius. we almost say what, what would you say what, what would be a cool thing to say we always say ayo or mou bien, mou bien, et mou quand on mange du riz curry, comme ça, like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so there you go, a little bit of Creole from Akashni, and she's been fabulous with her time this morning. Really, really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you, Akashni, and we'll Most see welcome. you very soon. soon. We're going to do some more cooking, I think, with Akashni yeah, another sure. time. Why not? Take it easy. Yeah. See you guys. Bye.